we are here at the field and we have this plane, the Golden Jet, we're going to fly. We've got the Wall Wing. I have videos on both of those actually. And then this new one. This is, um, I actually don't have a good name for it yet. And we'll see if it actually flies. Um, but this is a flying wing and it's kind of based, the shape was inspired by a B 2 bomber. And I don't know, it didn't turn out quite like how I wanted it to. Um, but we've got elevons here and here, and they may be way too sensitive, I'm not sure. Um, I've got a, I guess we'll just go over the specs really fast, I have an Emax 2213 uh, 935 kV motor right here. I think we're going to be running a 4 cell, this is an 845 prop, I think it's 845, and um, I've got some like 9 gram uh, Metal Gear servos here, got a Flysky FSI A6B a receiver on the underside. I've got a 20 amp Emax ESC, and that's it. Not exactly the most aerodynamic shape. And then I have these guys, these strips on the top and bottom. The idea is to kind of give it more of an airfoil shape, and we'll see how that works. <laughs> Okay. Here we go. This is really, really windy. 1300 milliamp hour three cell. Wow, well that, that actually went pretty well. Um, the battery came out, but that's okay. Wow. All right, we're gonna go to uh, four cell. Cause I, I just know that that's, that's gonna, we're gonna need to do that cause we just need more power. And actually these control surfaces did not have much, they didn't seem to do much, which is actually bad. Really, 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 really windy. Come on guys, come on wind. 1300 milliamp hour four cell this time. I haven't really changed anything. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. You can do it. You can do it. Oh, oh dang. Okay, the battery was ejected, which is to be expected. Really, it wasn't too bad. So, oh gosh. Oh my gosh. That is a large flying creature. It's actually kind of ironic how much bees and, and other flying insects scare me, considering how I fly drones and stuff that are very similar. Anyway, so we have, uh, <clears throat> I think I think if I just move the battery back a little bit, um, I think that it'll actually, you know, might be better because the, um, it seems like I am having to give a lot of up authority. And the thing is, the way, that I, for some reason, how, how I did this is I put the, I put the elevons flush with the bottom, and I should have put them flush with the top. Now, you know what's funny, actually, is I wonder if I could just, I could probably just fly this thing upside down and reverse the controls, and it would probably fix that problem. But I think the other thing is just a CG issue. So if we move the CG back a little bit, maybe, um, maybe it, we won't have to use as much up elevator so in any case everything is still pretty attached so that's good for durability hopefully we'll be flying this in flight fast combat let's give this a try let's just fly it from right here not very stable Oh, did you see it jump back up? Oh, wow. That thing is bouncy. Bouncy, bouncy. Um, yeah, I wonder I wonder if I put this this strip here, if that should have just been up front. I wonder if that's causing issues. The, I was thinking it would make it, you know, like a little bit, you know, because most airfoils, they have kind of a little swoop in the front. It's kind of, you know, it's rounded, sort of. 850 milliamp hour four cell. It's right about in the middle there. Kind of, I mean, the middle between the nose and the propeller. Gah! 
Dang! Oh, oh, it was doing so good there for a second. Oh, that's busted. That is busted. All right, that concludes testing. Oh, they're both broken. I was gonna set these into the foam like once I figured out if it was a good design or not. Uh, apparently it's not. I, I mean, it's so close. And it, it's also very hard to tell. And I think though, what I need to do is, I think these are just causing a too much of an up and down kind of motion. It's weird stuff by having it in the very center. I mean, the elevons that is the control circuit. What I need to do is I'm probably just gonna put some controls on the on the outer part. Good hanging out with you guys. Until next time, get out there and fly something.